keep electricity costs manageable for our ratepayers while helping industry cope with these dramatic and challenging regulatory actions. This, this bill includes $936 million for nuclear energy and is $23 million more than last year's program level of, and $605 million for fossil energy research and development, an increase of $34 million above last year. Funding for basic science research is $5.1 billion, a small increase over last year's level. Within this funding for fusion energy is maintained at $317 million, restoring the cuts proposed by the administration. The recommendation increases funding for the activities of the Army Corps of Engineers by $142 million above last year and $865 million above the request. I want to restate that. This is $865 million above the request from the administration. I simply cannot understand why, when this administration was proposing increases for so many activities, $800 million more for renewable energy as an example. The request proposed to cut the core by $750 million. To make up for this irresponsible request by, uh, for the core, the recommendation provides unallocated program lines of $880 million, with $332 million going to flood control projects and $486 million provided for much needed support for our ports and inland navigation system. This recommendation also makes use of all annual revenues from the Inland Waterway Trust Fund for a, for a total of $340 million. Harbor maintenance activities are funded at almost $1.2 billion, an increase of $263 million above the request. Finally, the recommendation includes strong support for getting Yucca Mountain licensing uh, license applications finished up, with $150 million going to the Department of Energy and $50 million to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. These are some of the highlights uh, of this recommendation. Uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, my ranking member, Ms. Kaptur, for the work uh, that she has done in working with us on this and turn uh, time over to her for any comments she may have. Thank you, uh, Chairman Simpson and all members of our subcommittee, especially those who joined us this year, uh, Ms. Herrera Butler, uh, Mr. Valadeo, uh, Mr. Honda, uh, Ms. Roybal Allard, and we also welcome warmly uh, Ms. Granger. Uh, you could say she's the newest member of the subcommittee. It's a trifecta. Uh, she uh, is uh, employing her substantial talents here. Uh, we also thank, obviously, our ranking member of the full committee, uh, Ms. Lowy, for, uh, for joining us, and the chairman uh, of the full committee, Mr. Rogers. Uh, we're very proud that this is the first bill uh, out of the chute. And I think as energy and water appropriators, we're very proud uh, of this subcommittee and the work that we do. Uh, this bill funds incredibly important programs that can unlock America's full economic potential, including advancing energy technologies to restore an energy self-reliant and secure America by developing inexhaustible energy supplies, achieving a cleaner energy future, growing America's domestic capabilities, and reducing the insidious political and economic effects of energy sector trade deficits. We keep a focus on energy conservation in programs like weatherization and uh, advancing <coughs> manufacturing in a way that helps us be much more competitive economically. We have a focus also in this bill on modernizing our energy grid. Nothing could be more important uh, from an economic or security standpoint. And um, we are uh, also have a responsibility to modernize our water infrastructure, to keep our ports open for business, to mitigate floods, to help our country adapt to the challenges of both water scarcity in our drought-stricken West and water insecurity due to toxic runoff in freshwater-rich regions like the Great Lakes. Cleaning up our nuclear legacy to minimize the burden passed on to future generations deterring the threats of nuclear proliferation, and responsibly maintaining uh, our nuclear weapons programs. Uh, very, very important responsibilities. And I have to say I was particularly proud of Secretary uh, Moniz as a critical partner in the uh, negotiations that are ongoing with uh, the nation of Iran. We know this subcommittee and its interests on behalf of the country are central to the future. To be sure, this bill could be stronger, uh, programs could be more fully funded, and the bill also includes uh, some unnecessary and controversial policy riders. But ultimately, uh, Chairman Simpson, it has been a pleasure to work with you uh, and your staff 
um, who uh, worked under very difficult circumstances. In particular, I would like to acknowledge Donna Shabazz and uh, thank her uh, for her dutiful efforts on behalf of the country. This is her first markup as clerk of energy and water and uh, working under tremendous time pressure as the first and she displayed grace and um, dispatched the entire time and we thank her for that. I also want to thank Tanya Berklum, our highly capable Democratic staff member for her continued uh, diligence, uh, dedication and good humor throughout this entire process. Are we the only subcommittee with two women at the top of the staffing? I think we may be. Um, we need to pass roses if that's true. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're very, very proud of the work of this subcommittee, Mr. Chairman, and you know it happened so seamlessly no one even noticed. Thank you very much. I yield back my remaining time. Thank you. Uh, now I'll turn to uh, the Chairman of the full committee, the Honorable Hal Rogers from Kentucky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for the hard work that you and Ms. Kaptur and the members of this subcommittee have put into this first bill uh, of the season. Uh, it's, uh, I think it should be apparent to anyone uh, with objective views to wonder why we picked this subcommittee to be the first off the block. And, and obviously it's the superior intellect. <laughs> That's what we like to think. Yeah. <laughs> think on, think on. Uh, but we had to start somewhere. Uh, but this bill, of course, is very important. It touches so many uh, parts of the country and so many people. Every district across the uh, country and every community is impacted in some way by this bill, so it involves difficult choices that you've had to uh, make. And in my estimation, uh, you've stricken the right balance uh, between our nation's many energy and water related projects. The bill makes significant investments in energy research, nuclear security, uh, critical infrastructure uh, made and maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And through this legislation, this subcommittee supports the Corps' primary missions of flood uh, mitigation and navigation, uh, while also reaffirming the Corps and Congress's commitment to recreation opportunities uh, on our cherished natural uh, resources. Additionally, the uh, bill prioritizes investments in energy research and new technologies that will make uh, energy production in the country safer and more efficient. It also provides $8.7 billion uh, to ensure the effectiveness of the nation's nuclear weapons stockpile. In my district in uh, southern and eastern Kentucky, uh, we've been hard hit by the administration's uh, energy and environmental policies. And so I'm particularly pleased that this bill makes much needed investments in fossil energy research and takes action to roll back the harmful job-killing regulatory attacks that we've seen on the coal industry across the country, but particularly in Appalachia. We provide $605 million, uh, that's $45 million above the President's woefully inadequate request, uh, to promote new fossil energy technologies and make them more efficient. The bill also stands firm against the layer upon layer of environmental red tape that this administration keeps laying out in hopes of crippling the coal industry. And unfortunately, it's succeeding. For example, uh, you take on wrong-headed policies such as the attempt to change the definition of, quote, fill material, quote, which would shut down coal mines nationwide and the new waters of the U.S. Uh, in which the administration seeks to regulate almost anywhere uh, water could conceivably run in the last one million years. This subcommittee takes responsible action through this bill to prevent regulatory overreach that would devastate energy production in the U.S. Uh, and communities nationwide. So, Mr. Chairman, I think you put together a good bill, uh, a tough bill, and these numbers are not uh, are not salutary, uh, but uh, I think this is a good bill. You've balanced things well, and I support it and wish you well. Thank you.
now turn to the uh, distinguished uh, ranking member of the full committee, Ms. Lowy of New York. Thank you very much, Chairman Simpson, Ranking Member Kaptur, Chairman Rogers. I want to congratulate the Chairman and the Ranking Member for putting together this bill under very difficult circumstances. Next week, our full committee will meet to consider the allocation for all 12 appropriations bills. It's no secret that my Democratic colleagues and I oppose the House Majority's budget resolution and the discretionary allocation given to the committee. This number is unrealistic and threatens the success of the appropriations process and the consequences in the first draft bill are just the tip of the iceberg. This bill could be a high watermark among the bills when it comes to funding priorities that will grow our economy and give hardworking Americans opportunity to succeed. Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your prioritization of the budget for the Army Corps of Engineers and acknowledgement of how critical federal investment is to our nation's aging infrastructure. These investments have a direct and tangible effect on our national economy. Our ability to move more goods in and out of American ports benefits the entire country, not just the communities where the ports are physically located. Independent annual reports detail the billions needed to address backlogs from coast to coast and almost everywhere in between. In their most recent report card, the American Society for Civil Engineers gave the U.S. a D plus and estimated that $3.6 trillion in investments are needed by 2020. I want to thank the Chair for protecting other key federal investments in science and research programs at our national laboratories and universities. These modest yet vitally important programs are the key to ensuring America's competitiveness for generations to come. Without federal support, many technologies and innovations could never have happened, and we must maintain this important commitment. While we are experiencing a welcome dip in oil prices, that can quickly change. Scientific advances take time. We cannot cut back or delay this important research. Unfortunately, the inclusion of controversial riders is deeply disappointing. An annual appropriations bill is not the place to amend or significantly change the Clean Water Act or gun laws. I should not have to remind my majority colleagues that similar provisions have imperiled passage of this bill in, <coughs> excuse me, in the past. This administration has already been on record with veto threats over nearly identical language. I'm truly dumbfounded as to why you would go down this path again when we have enough problems just working out the funding levels, the job we are supposed to do. I look forward to the full Appropriation Committee's opportunity to consider the bill in the coming days, as well as the chance to have a broader budget discussion setting out this year's work. And I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. The bill is now open for amendment. Does anyone wish to offer an amendment or to be heard on the bill? If not, if there's no further discussion, the chair recognizes Mr. Feelingheisen for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that the bill be favorably reported to the full committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion is agreed to. Let, remi let me remind members to please leave their copies of the bill and the report. Uh, in the room. I ask unanimous consent that uh, staff be permitted to make technical and conforming changes to the bill and the report without objection so ordered. Subcommittee is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Thank you. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. We didn't think you'd be here long enough.